Hey everyone, it's Ben. Got an update ICO video for LibraCoin. We haven't talked about this one in a while, probably since we first talked about it on the channel. They Their internal exchange is going live in less than a day, and we wanted to go over some strategies. So there may be several of you that aren't in LibraCoin. Please watch the video if you're interested in how we formulate our exit strategies for these ICOs. I'm going to go through some uh, fairly in-depth examples. The first thing I want to point out, Dear members, this is on their website, uh, main page of their website. Uh, Libra withdrawal function is now active. Haven't tested it, but haven't heard from anyone that it wasn't working. And more importantly, our lending is doing great. 3.5 million Libra in loans growing every day. So that's uh, that's really a, a pretty good loan amount. They opened up lo loaning at $5 uh, several days ago. We've been taking a look at things, taking a look at social media, trying to decide what we're going to do, and we'll go over some of those details. You can see on the roadmap here, for their internal exchange, they have a target price of $10. We don't know where they cook that up from. It's something to keep in mind for when the exchange opens. Uh, you know, with BitConnect exit scamming and with cryptocurrencies just getting trashed as they are this past month and including today, you know, we're a little bit worried that there may not be as high a sentiment for these lending platforms, Libra included, so we're taking that into account as we decide what we're going to do uh, for our our strategy. I'll show you real quick in their back office. Here I am logged in. I have 1,550 coins. They're showing what that coin is worth right now at a value price of $5. Now, I couldn't find out if they're starting the exchange off of five dollars in a day and by the way their countdown timer on their main page 23 hours 17 minutes uh don't know if they're starting off at of five dollars or if it's going to be a open market i.e the price can be whatever people trade at uh so we'll, we'll stand by when when the platform opens we'll see what we're going to do but i'm going to start off with a loan i'm going to show you how to loan and then i'm going to explain why we're loaning and what the strategy is so find the buttons here lending this should be pretty easy you can see over the past couple of days what they paid out two percent which looks pretty nice and we will do start lending usd amount and i've already got it on my spreadsheet here where did i put my spreadsheet there she is i am going to do a thousand nine thirty seven lend a thousand nine thirty seven 1937.50. I think that's what I had written down. That bumps me up into this second tier where we get an additional 0.15% daily. Do I understand the terms and conditions? Sure. Why not? Lend. Look at that. Successfully lent to trading bot. All right. Uh, we'll see how this plays out uh, as this platform continues. We're going to go through this spreadsheet and explain what our strategy is for LibraCoin. And we're going to run through something similar for these other ICOs as we get to internal exchange or external exchange days, whatever, whatever, these, whatever these things are doing. This is an example based on my, uh, my getting into this ICO. I got in at $0.60. Cents. I put in $930, which came out to 1,550 tokens. Of course, whatever your situation is, it'll look different than mine. And I should add, this is not our suggestion for you. We're not telling you what to do. Uh, we're just giving you uh, an example and a rundown of how we think about things. None of this may apply to you. You may have a completely different strategy. That's perfectly fine. We're just giving you some some things to chew on, some things to think about. All right, with that said, we're going to start off with a 25% lend of our total token account, which is what you just saw me do. Lending 25% of tokens of $5. Their lending is locked at 5 bucks, so that turned out to be 1937 which you just saw which was 387 coins, and let's just make sure that it was 387. Yep, 387.5, which means if you subtract 1,550 from 387, this is how many coins we have remaining. And the reason I'm lending right now, uh, there's there's two reasons. One, they are, they're locking in lens at five, five bucks. You know, there's some other ICOs that you know, I think Devor, when they started off, there was no fixed lending amount. It was whatever the market price of the coin was. Here, I got in at $0.60. Cents. They're letting me lend at $5. So if we just do some quick math, $5 divided by 0.6, that's an 
33x or 833% increase of my coin. So that, that, that looks pretty good. I can lock in a loan right now at this guaranteed price. It's already a fairly good appreciation on my cost basis for getting in. Uh, so you know, that doesn't feel too bad. If, if they were letting me lend at $60 at the last price of the ICO, which I think was a dollar, there's no way I'd be doing it right now. They are showing us a, let's see, a percent return of around 2% a day. I'm looking to see how long it's going to take me to recoup through this lend through this lending amount that I just did, my initial investment of $930. Again, none of these numbers on the screen mean anything until I can pull out in BTC. So and I, and I'm looking to make sure I can at least make myself whole as soon as possible. Uh, at a more conservative 1.5% a day return on this initial almost $2,000 investment, it's going to take me 32 days to break even at, nine, at my initial $930 investment. So I'm basically using this guaranteed $5 lend amount to hedge the rest of my coins uh, to make sure I can try and get my initial investment out, right? So w w one thing that could happen tomorrow is this ICO or this internal lending, uh, internal exchange could open and there may be no price floor and it could dump to 10 cents. You know, we really have no idea. We like LibraCoin. We've seen some of the other platforms, Bankcoin completely screwed themselves. We've got total number of members of 26,000. You know, that's not a small amount, but it's not a huge amount. We really just have no idea what could happen. So we're focused on initially for any of these ICOs that we get in for ourselves. Our strategy is to make ourselves whole as soon as possible without selling coin at an absurdly low price. Right now, if the coin price drops below five dollars, let's say it goes down to one dollar, I'm at least locked in locked in my loan at five bucks with this eight hundred and thirty three percent return on my coin. And if we're actually able to pull out daily interest, uh, you know, convert USD to BTC and get out. I've could potentially maybe pull out my initial investment in 32 days. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of protecting myself with this lend. And it's also a way to support their platform and tie up some more coins, which, you know, if they're, if they end up being successful, I'm more than happy to do. So long story short, that's why I'm starting off with a 25% lender, 25% of my initial tokens after after doing this lend, which you just saw me do, I'm going to ignore this for the rest of my explanation uh, because I, I said I, we're doing this as a hedge. We're doing this as a protection. Uh, none of this could happen. You know, This platform might not last 32 days. It could last a year. We, we have no idea. I'm not going to count on this happening immediately and making me whole. I'm going to uh, execute a backup plan. That's what we're going to talk about now. Backup plan. I want to pull out my initial investment as soon as possible. Now, if this exchange opens at $5 and holds at $5, yeah, you know, again, that's an 833% return. That's not bad. Uh, I'm going to pull out at least 1x of my initial investment immediately. So uh, if, if there's volume, if there's sell side uh, volume, I'm sorry, buy side volume, uh, when the uh, internal exchange opens, I'm going to pull out my $930 immediately. That's 186 tokens I'm going to have to sell. And... I will now have 977 coins remaining. Uh, all I did there was subtract coins remaining from my lending amount uh, from my 1x withdrawal, 977 left. Uh, after that, I want to pull out another 2x of my initial investment. That way I can at least you know, get myself into another ICO or two. Uh, you know, my plan is to take this $930 uh, I pulled out take that back to my initial investment, my little bank pool, my wallet, my Ethereum, my Bitcoin, whatever I've got it in, and just hold it there. That's my personal strategy. Let that appreciate. Uh, I also want to pull out some extra funds that'll allow me to get into one or two more ICOs uh, for free, right? For free being I, I appreciated my initial amount. I pulled it back. I made myself whole. Now I've got some extra war chest to play with some more ICOs. So uh, to pull out another 2x, I, I'm going to pull out uh, pull that amount out when the coin appreciates uh, 10 times or a thousand percent for my initial cost basis. Remember I got in at 60 cents, 10 X is $6. Now, if they open up at five and there's interest, it could easily go up to $6 quick. As soon as $6 hits, I'm going to sell twice uh, my initial investment. So 930 times two, $1,860. That's going to cost me 310 coins at, at the uh, at $6 price which means I've got 667 coins remaining. Hopefully it all made, all made sense. Uh, at that point, I'm, I've made myself whole, 
right? I've gotten my initial investment out. I've I pulled out an extra two X. I have protection in case something else happens or uh, if the platform does well, I'm I'm happy that we're we're supporting it. 25% uh, of my coins are lent and we'll work on pulling this daily dividend out. I've got 667 coins left to play with. And at this point, we don't really have a, a plan for ourselves. We're gonna wait and see how things play out. Uh, Again, we don't know the future. We have no idea what this platform is going to do. If it takes off and you know went to twenty dollars tomorrow, yeah, you know, I, I might sell some more of this and loan it. I might sell all of it because that's an insane return very quickly, and I'm happy to take profits and run. I don't want to leave the the platform in the dark, which is why we'll lend some more if it does pretty well. Uh, you know, or you know, your situation could be completely different. You may have only 500 bucks that you're playing with in ICOs. You spread 100 into several different ICOs. Maybe you put 100 in Libra. And if it went up to, say, 9 bucks tomorrow, you might want to pull out with a 1,400% return. Nothing wrong with that. Again, I can't tell you what to do. You have to decide and analyze for yourself. Uh, I'm just giving you something to think about. Uh, just ran through some math here. Here is potential Libra price in USD. Uh, here's what my investment value for my remaining 677 coins would be at a, at a particular price and the percent gain that relates to uh, associating back to a 60 percent or 60 cent uh, cost basis. So obviously 75 cents, I got in at 60 cents, that's a 25 percent gain. If we hold it five dollars, that's still 733 percent. If this thing went up to 10, 10 bucks, that's a 1500 percent gain so on and so forth. So this is just a table for me to look at while we're watching price action when this internal exchange goes live. Uh, this is our approach to every ICO. We, we write this down, we go through the math, uh, talk, talk about what we feel uh, comfortable with, and that's a different answer for every ICO, right? If I went through this analysis for Lend Connect based on getting in it, well, I think we got in at 50 cents, it's, it's a completely different answer. Thorncoin will be a completely different answer. Bankcoin at this point, damn, I'd, I'd be happy just to dump everything and get out uh, at my at my uh, whatever price I got in at the ICO, but they're trading at, what, 10 or 20 cents. Uh, good news on Bankcoin for myself is I stuck to this plan here. We talked about 1 to 2x. Uh, I pulled out about 2x of my investment, my initial investment, first day. Uh, so I've at least made myself whole plus some. I still got a lot of coins sitting there doing nothing. But there's a reason why we protect ourselves by getting out immediately, right? Stock market, you want to buy low, sell high. We bought in at 60 cents. If we have a guaranteed return at $5 or even $3, uh, that's, that, that's not bad. You, you, can, you can pull out. So you may ask, hey, what happens if tomorrow the price isn't at $5 and, and in the coin selling at a lower amount? So here's our backup plan. Um, again, same information at the top. All I did was switch tabs here. Uh, if you're watching, trying to figure out what I'm doing. Uh, got my initial token amount, initial investment, cost basis, everything from the previous uh, tab. Got this investment, this lending amount that we talked about. I'm not going to go through that again. Um, we're going to try and pull out 1x at at least a 5x appreciation. So pull out my initial investment when the coin has appreciated five times what I bought at. So when, when does that happen? Well, I got in at 60 cents. Multiply that by five. That's $3. So... If the coin isn't stable at $5, I'm waiting for it to hit $3. When it hits $3, I'm going to pull out my original $930. It'll cost me 310 tokens. I'll have 853 remaining. I'm still going to wait for that 10x before I sell another two times my initial investment. Uh, that's 1860, 310 tokens, and I'll only have 543 remaining tokens as opposed to the 667 for the previous scenario. And then the same numbers down here for comparison. And so this is our goal going in. We have no idea what the price is going to do. We'll get uh, some sell orders placed in there. Not going to dump everything. Who knows, if it goes up and does really well, maybe we'll pull out entirely tomorrow. Uh, really can't tell the future, and we can't tell you what to do. You need to come up with your own plan. Uh, if you got questions or thoughts, leave them in the comments. Uh, like, subscribe, and tell us what else you want to see. A couple of you had mentioned that my mic volume was too low. I think I figured out how to increase it. Hopefully it's not too loud now. If it's, if it's burning your ears up, let me know and I'll turn it down. Take care.